Hey folks, hope y'all doing well today. It's uh, oh, Tuesday, uh, March 18th. It's about uh, 20 minutes till noon. We have bees in brick column, and I uh, believe they were here last spring. And uh, the hive is booming. We don't know what we have in the column, but they're definitely inside of the column. I got up into the attic and I belly crawled very close to this point, and I did not see the column. That's what uh, I had to do, so we're going to go ahead and open the column up today, and uh, this is the tool that's going to make it happen today. Big ass grinder, okay? And it's a two-hander. When that blade, when that blade gets spinning, folks, <laughs> watch out. Okay? <laughs> I'm telling you. So uh, anyway, it's probably going to be messy. The bees may get a little agitated, but one way or another, we're going to get it done. Bees in a brick column in New Orleans, Louisiana. Hope you all enjoyed the video. This is the front of the column. One of their main entrances is right here. They're also going into the right side of the column as well. But this is their main entrance, okay? Depends on how much of this. Alright, folks. We got one brick out. You can see some pretty white comb. And I don't know what we got to the left of that, but uh, like I said the people did see them last, last season. So, And uh, they've been booming. Now, we started this job about 20 minutes till noon because this morning it was 41 degrees. <laughs> so it's now it's uh, what, about, probably about in the 60s. And I think the forecast is for it to warm up to the low 70s so that's why we waited so long for this but all right well we got the first brick out we'll go from here We've uh, removed all the bricks that we need to and um, stopped disturbing them. Their uh, the numbers are coming back up. Look at that, huh? There's definitely more bees and comb on this one. But, you know, from appearances, it looks like a, a huge colony. They just have good numbers. I guess that queen, she's a beast, and she's popping them babies out. But, uh, you know, this column could have been full. Just as easily full, you never know sometimes. Alright, so here's our, our high box. And, uh, we, have a, we have a honey frame here. Okay, for them. 
this is a friend of mine's setup. I'm gonna go to his yard. All right, so uh, we're about to get started and do our transfer. See, I'm squaring them off so that when I put them in my frames, they sit nicely on the on the bottom board. See, they come down to a point, and you can't put that on your frame because it'll you can't secure it properly. So we just square them off. See, the bees are they're nice bees. Nice dark, you know, feral Italian bees. out my freaking mind getting this close to peach. Yeah. <laughs> that was enough excitement for me today. <laughs> so the bees will fill in these empty spaces and they'll draw this comb up and they'll fill the whole frame eventually wow. and um, put it to good use. It's amazing. See that? All right. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> you think she might be up in there? She might. Put a little more smoke in that column. Yeah, they may be starting to orient over to the box here. I'm just trying not to push them too much. But, uh, I mean, yeah, look, I mean, look at all these bees. She could be at the top underneath, you know, three, four, five layers of bees, and I, you never see it. All right. <laughs> Smoke the column a little more and see what we can do. <laughs> Down, folks. Bees keep congregating up top. I got the honeybee going inside the column. We're shaking bees on our setup over here. And uh, man, they just not cooperating. And I keep taking handfuls of bees and putting them in the top of a little cardboard box. And lo and behold, Trey says, Hey, I think I see your queen over here. What you think, think you see? Right there. And guess what? And Trey saves the day, folks. Mm -hmm. See that big one? That's her. It happens. <laughs> Isn't I, it crazy? <laughs> hey, I, I just happened to look that way. Oh, man. Hey, she's a tiger stripe. Look at her, folks. I think she's a tiger. That's our queen. Good job, Trey. That, that, that's just freaky. That's Jeez. awesome. My biggest concern but this job was at the queen. There was a piece of comb that fell, brood comb section, that fell to the bottom of the column. I wasn't able to fish it out, but uh, there's a few bees down there, and I was worried that she was down there. And we've been smoking the column, running the bees out. And uh, they pulled up on the outside, the front top of the column, several times. And um, we just never did see her. And uh, so I was worried she was in the bottom, and lo and behold, Trace found her about 12 feet over, 
right up against the plant pot <laughs> with about maybe a dozen bees around her. <laughs> so uh, she's right in here. And she's a big, swollen up, beautiful queen too. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Another one from JP. Trey Scrabbear with Abracadabra Home Improvements. Good buddy of mine that helps with bee removals and when I need him to step in and do some major repairs. You know, he's going to take care of this column and uh, put the bricks back and remold everything and tighten it up so they can't get back in here again. So, to the next one. Y'all have a good day. We sure are. <laughs>